Location matters. Interference in the environment weakens listening capabilities. Physical noise is specific to the immediate environment or location of the communication. For example, in the following clip, you will see how the distractions in the environment can impair one's listening ability. How much have you studied for the uh, CMS test? Not that much. I plan on waking up early in the morning and finish the report. Uh, what chapters are you on? I'm on chapter 7 right now. Um, the test is over chapter 7 and 8, right? I hope so. Okay, so I have a question. Hello? Hey, girl! Girl, what are you doing? So, um... I haven't talked to you here in so long. Hold on. I just have Okay, to. yeah, um, the, on chapter girl, 7, we were just talking about clothing. Girl, you remember that time class, and she was just going up. Is that your roommate? Yes. Ooh. You have to excuse her. Get on my nerves. She's from Dallas. Hey, you know, how they, how they yes. Yes. Girl, I'm not doing nothing. Okay, you okay. Well, well, anyway, back. back to what I was saying. I think she tried to study. Girl. You remember that time? Maybe we, we should have studied in the PCL. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should. <laughs> you had to come to Austin to come visit me. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, maybe yeah. I will study tomorrow. Oh, okay. my God. Right. <laughs> Bye, girl. Gender styles. Men and women also listen differently. When men and women communicate, men are more likely to interrupt for dominance and to be lecturers and take on the roles of experts and authority. Women do, do more nodding and uh-huhs to indicate they're listening than do men. In the following clip, you will see how the male tries to take the role of lecturer and the female becomes the listener. Hey, Trey. Uh, I was thinking that for our CMS project, we could... Excuse me. I'll, let me go. Um, I was thinking maybe we should do things the way the paper says it should be, in, in order, so we can get it done quickly. Okay. Well, what about like if we do have like, the teacher said and try different way, different approaches? I, I don't. I mean, I'm thinking to get the best grade, we probably should just go straight forward and not try to trying to do our own thing, incorporate our own thing, so it'd be different, special from everybody else's. That's what I was thinking. Okay. Well, I guess that sounds cool. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea to me too. Okay. Cultural differences. Cultural presumptions shape meanings, especially in regard to how directly a message is stated. Cultural vocabulary mismatches often cause communication errors. For example, in the following clip, you will see how cultural differences in vocabulary can lead to misunderstandings. Um, the last girl should be here any second. Oh, there she is. Hey! Hey. Her name's um, Shanae, she just came out here two years ago. Oh, that's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, so where do we want to start? Um, uh, this chapter we stopped on the class was chapter five. Okay. What? Chapter five. Chapter five. 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 Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Um, I think that's the one about listening. Um. What was the? What, what, did, the what did the teacher say about listening? Um. What did the who say? The teacher. The teacher. Yes. Oh. Teacher and professor. Oh, okay. Same thing. I don't know what was in the class. What did he say, Shana? Oh, uh, he was. Uh, we went over the barriers of listening, and um, also we went over um, some of the personal barriers you experience. It's pretty easy. We can uh, go on to the next chapter. Is that okay? The the personal barriers. Yes. I don't remember that part. Um, Alex, do you remember that part? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it was just like saying like some of the stuff was like avoid judgment.